What is going on guys, Justin from HOFplants.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a plant that I was kind of looking around the fish room trying to find a plant that I haven't done a video yet on and I looked at the Tropica plants that we got in last week and this was one that was left over, it hasn't been sold yet so kind of lucked out that I could do a video on it because I haven't had these too often in the past and it's Hydrocodal Triparta Japan and it is a very, very cool plant. So what it is, is essentially it's pennywort. If you know what pennywort is, I've done a video on it before, I'll link that above. But pennywort is of the bigger version of this, and this is a much smaller version. Now this version is great for really any sized aquariums. Let's take a look at the, um, it closer. So it almost looks like a clover. Like you can see there that it's like a clovery type plant. Now this is different from four leaf clover, which is a more traditional like rhizome runner-esque plant. Well, this is very runner, like runnery. It has a lot of runners. <laughs> I guess that would be the word for it. Um, it. It just it just grows out of control. Like you can trim it into a bush. Like if you wanted to keep it like in a spherical shape, you could do that. If you wanted to just like kind of hang out like this, it will. You know, and um, it's very vertical, so it will grow. It doesn't typically grow horizontally. Um, it more so grows vertically, but if you continuously trim it, it'll kind of train itself to go uh, horizontally. Um, you could use it as a carpeting plant. That's really up to you. You just have to trim it more and more. But each one of these branches uh, could be a, its own individual plant, and really all you need is a node. And a node is essentially just an area with a leaf. So let's see if I could get you. Can I get you to zoom in there? Okay. So here we have a uh, piece right here, and this is literally all you would need to get it to start growing somewhere else in your aquarium. So you can plant this guy anywhere really, and, and it would be good. Uh, you could tie it to rocks, you could tie it to driftwood, you could plant it as a carpeting plant, you could do it as a mid-ground plant, as like a nice little bush, you could use it as a background plant if you really wanted to, um, depending on the size of your aquarium. Obviously, like if you have a large aquarium, like something over, I would say maybe like over a 40 gallon, so like a 55 gallon and up, wouldn't be the greatest background plant because it's kind of on the small scale, but if you wanted it to, you could certainly do that. Now, not recommended for those hardier fish like goldfish or cichlids. They'll probably tear this guy up really quickly, but anything else, if you have uh, like any sort of breeding type fish that you're trying to breed or betas, they will love this shrimp too because it, it you know, you could see this is a massive mat here and, um, you know, it's just a ton of grazing area, a ton of area for them to spawn in and a ton of area to trap yummy food and detritus for like shrimp and snails and all that other good stuff to eat. So it's a really, really easy plant as well. Uh, they do say medium on here, on the uh, tag, but these are low to medium light. Uh, they don't really require CO2. As a matter of fact, I have a little piece growing in the um, in the pond here that literally doesn't have, it doesn't have a filter, no CO2, it's literally just a light. And, and it's growing, uh, granted not growing super fast, but it is growing. Um, and eventually I'm gonna trim it into more of a bushy type thing and hopefully it'll take over and look really cool. But uh, overall, Hydrocoto uh, Triparta Japan is a very cool plant. I think um, anybody with a nano aquarium should definitely look into this guy. This is the last one we have available and um, we'll have more though soon. Uh, just keep in mind this is the Tropica one, so if you look on the website and it doesn't say Tropica. It may not look as full. Tropica uh, pod plants are really full. Like, um, I would say the normal batch that we get is about half this. So this is um, this is a really good pot right here. So uh, if it's still on the website, go for it now. But, but later on, we'll have more probably in a week or two of this particular plant. But other than that, really simple video on some Hydrocoto Triparta Japan. Try saying that three times fast. It's a tongue twister. Very cool plant. I think you should definitely try it if you haven't. If you have, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Or if you're thinking about picking some up, let us know what you think. And uh, of course, if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you're new here, click that subscribe button. And if you want to check out any of our previous videos or one on Pennywort or something like that, you can click either one of those. And I'll see you guys next time.